Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to actually fix or how to discover the problem within um, when you get a blue screen, of, when you get a blue screen of death or experience any starting up problems or booting up problems. Um, the common problem with uh, when a computer doesn't boot up or gets any blue screens or hardware problems, uh, especially crash dump errors or crash dump files being created, um, this is when necessarily there is capacitors blown within the motherboard. Now, if we come onto here, um, we can see down here, this is my old computer by the way, there is about three or four capacitors here that have been blown. Um, now, they, they have just, I mean, they say it's blown because, I mean, there's a... Uh, they, they're, they're kind of on, like, normally a capacitor would be flat on the top. Now, this is the first check you should do if you get any problems like any crash dump uh, files being created, any blue screens which is associated with the crash dump, which you will get a blue screen of death when you get the crash dump uh, file being created. Um, and especially when your computer screen does not start up um, or if you get boot up problems, if you can't get past the boot up uh, sector menu, um, then that could be a, a problem with the motherboard and uh, it's unlikely that it's going to be any pr I'm going to show you a couple of things in a minute and um, it's just it's unlikely to be anything to do with um, like a uh, it's unlikely to be to do with any kind of um, other hardware faults so I'll get kind of carried away there uh, <laughs> um, we don't actually need this in here at the moment um, now uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do to try and sort these problems out. Now as you can see here we've got the now RAM. the section right. of component what you can see is the RAM. Now um, here is the RAM here. Um, what you first want to do, if you get any problems such as the computer starting up, uh, it boots up perf, well it boots up kind of, you hear all the noises and stuff and then all you kind of, you don't see anything on the screen. Uh, if the screen stays blank, what you should do is just remove the RAM chip um, just by simply um, pushing down that, taking out the RAM chip and maybe even giving the terminals a kind of white with a cloth or something um, I'm not going to do that just now because obviously this computer is uh, bust because there is obviously capacitors that are blown on the other side as I've just shown you um, Now what you're going to do is take out all these RAM chips and you're going to um, Remove them all, give them all, all the wee terminals a wipe. Um, and uh, as I've shown you there, I'll just show you that again. Um, you're going to give these wee kind of the almost, I don't know what kind of, I think it's probably either copper or uh, something that's been used on there to, um, it's gold plated to give a better uh, connection. So you're going to give that a wipe. Don't give it a wipe with your fingers because that's obviously what I'm doing at the moment, it's not good for it. Um, I'll probably end up selling this RAM somewhere, um, just probably on the internet somewhere, uh, just to kind of get uh, to get rid of it because uh, obviously I don't need this anymore. I've got a new computer. Um, I just got that the other day ago, so uh, there still will be videos going up. Um, anyway, off the topic of that, um, uh, as I say, if you do uh, experience any of that, you should try this first. Okay, so back to the main motherboard part. Um, this is obviously uh, where the just where everything, probably all the problems can go on. But um, the main thing I was going to explain to you was uh, the like the main problems is well the second thing you can do for all these problems is that you can get um, a a register cleaner. Now, if you can start up your computer for thirty minutes or an hour or so. Or even five minutes you can still do this register clean if it still goes to a blue screen then you probably are it's better almost uh, the last stage probably would be after doing any register cleans or any boot sector such things um i'll explain another thing you can do in a minute um it's probably the last i mean well i'll just explain the next thing at the moment uh, the next thing you can do is actually just um press well see when you start your computer if you start pressing delete, the delete key, or the boot set, you want to actually access the, the BIOS menu, or the the boot boot options menu. Uh, now this is a, a kind of a, a menu in which you can change the advanced BIOS settings. 
what you want to do is actually just uh, go into that boot sector menu and change, uh, go to reset or go back to the defaults. Um, there should be a, a reset to defaults um, menu availability. Basically the last thing I'm going to explain to you is um, the um, the availability of obviously computer shops near around you. Um, that would probably be a problem. They will check for the capacitors at first, that's what the person did of mine and they found uh, the capacitors were blown and that's where I got the experience from so um, Basically, what you're going to do is either take it to a computer store or just just go out and buy a new computer because it might be even more worth it because it's going to cost you about um, loads of money to probably get it fixed in the first place. Another thing you can do is this battery here. You can remove it. Now, I'm not going to remove that because it's a pain when I remove it. Um, you have to kind of push it all back in and it's just a, there's all the wee tabs on and stuff, but um, you can remove yours if you're really wanting to. That's uh, that's actually to reset the, I think it's CMOS, um, C-M-O-S, that's uh, it's, it's basically, I don't actually know what CMOS is, It's uh, I think it's something to do with the boot sector, so that will reset that and hopefully it'll work after that, but there's many things you can try to get your computer restarted and such and get it uh, working again. So thanks for watching and I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the video and got some useful tips from it. Thanks, okay, bye.